Hello fellow crafters and welcome to 2015. I'm back with my first video of the year. Please excuse my voice if it sounds kind of funny. I've been sick for two weeks now throughout the entire holidays and my voice is still taking a toll. Let's dive right back in. Uh, here are the products that I'm using. A stamp set by Paper Smooches Botanicals 2. The Femme Frames by Mama Elephant. I mean, when am I not using that um, set? A Word Dye by W Plus 9 and The Basic Stripes by Clearly Besotted Stamps. I'm starting out with the, uh, um, the smaller one of the Femme Frames, which come in the Basic set um, by Mama Elephant, the Basic Dye set, mm. and I'm using a piece of dark grey cardstock from which I will just cut this shape. And I need dark grey because I'm going to be using Perfect Pearls and they show up best on dark cardstock. I'll show you this in a bit. I'm just holding this down with a few post-it notes and I'm going to run this from my die-cut machine. Here are the Perfect Pearls. They come in these um, small roundish uh, containers. And this is the color Kiwi, which is green. You wouldn't think that when you look at it, but it is. Trust me. Here are my um, my color samples. I have a folder, like Jennifer McGuire style, where I have all my samples. And here are all the colors that I have. And they reflect the light. They shimmer perfectly. I'm sorry if this gets kind of lost through the plastic, but they really shimmer nicely. This is on white, but look how they look on black. On black, they're simply gorgeous. The colors are so vibrant. And here is the green one, the kiwi one, which actually looks almost yellow on white paper. So that's why I'm using dark uh, cardstock. And in order to make the perfect pearls stick, you need a sticky ink. I'm using Versamark, which, you know, because I have it, so why shouldn't I use it? And I'm simply stamping some of the leaves from the Botanicals 2 stamp set by Paper Smooches onto this dark gray cardstock. You can see where I stamped. It's obviously, you know, wet. Mm. And the Versamark stays wet for a few minutes, depending, you know, where you live, how you're um, about on the humidity and whatever else. And so I've stamped a few of the elements, also added a few of the smaller images. And now I'm grabbing my container with the perfect pearls, <coughs> and also the, the brushes. And you can see it's a very fine powder. All I'm doing is I'm dipping the tip of my brush into the powder and then I'm pouncing it onto the wet Versamark ink. I'm not doing any um, like drawing or smooshing motions because I feel that then I kind of move the Versamark around and smear um, the image. So I'm really gently pouncing onto um, where it's wet and it's easy to see because the Versamark clearly stands out. When you look at it now, it looks like a real hot mess. But first of all, I'm tapping it off, off to the side, my scratch paper. I know it still doesn't look great, but wait. I'm taking a large soft brush and I'm just brushing away the excess. And you can see I'm cleaning it every few strokes on my scratch paper. And now the actual image that we stamped emerges. And you can see that you get a very crisp and sharp impression from, um, well, basically from pouncing the perfect powder on there. Don't move over it with your finger yet. It's not set. You will smear it. Don't touch it with your finger. I finished off the entire panel the same way that I just showed you, brushing off the excess and then closing the perfect pearls because I have such a talent for tipping over containers with pearls and glitter and whatever. Don't ask me. And now I need to set this. I need to make sure it doesn't sm smudge. So I'm using, in German, it's called Haarlack. It's basically hairspray. And I'm not using it for hair ever, but it's great on cards. So I've generously misted this onto this panel. I'm, I'm setting this aside to dry because this will set the color and prevent it from being smushed. <coughs> Excuse me, please. So for the second part, I need to decorate my card base. I've mounted the widest strip from the um, Clearly Besotted stamp set and I'm using a very bright ink by um, Hero Arts. All the supplies are listed in the video description and I'm gonna progress um, until I have the entire card stamped and it's just a very vibrant and happy yellow. I literally can't see red and green anymore like after, <laughs> after the Christmas. Um, time here and I feel it just looks awesome you know it doesn't come off because now it's dried the hairspray has set it completely there is no smudging going on it looks absolutely awesome and I'm very happy about this 
Um, I also die cut the word things. Uh, it's a W plus nine die from some yellow cardstock. It accidentally is the same color as the ink that I was using. I didn't even know I had matching cardstock, but yay! And now I'm very gently um, putting on some dots of Tombow Monoi Multi Glue. And I love this applicator because it allows me to have really, really tiny dots. The last thing that you want is the ink smooshing out from under the die cut because, well, ah, dropped it. Yeah, as you see, I dropped stuff. Um, I was, you know, I was just lucky that it didn't come down with the sticky side. Uh, just I, literally, I had a heart attack when this happened. I was like, no, no. And now I'm going, oh, no, twine. Because the twine doesn't want to stay where I want it to stay. And for some reason, I don't have enough fingers or hands or other extremities to use here. Maybe if I was a contortionist, I could use my feet, but I don't think you want to see my feet in the video. Anyhow, at some point I was just like, oh, whatever. I just put down the word die, held it down a little bit, and then used the proven Jennifer, uh, not Jennifer McGuire, sorry, Nicole McGurk method of just using an acrylic block and holding um, the die down, the, the die cut down. I added the S as well, then put some foam tape at the back of the panel. Now I'm just pressing it down so it's really secure. And you can see here how um, how nicely the silver twine looks behind uh, the word and how awesomely the perfect pearls shimmer. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. You get the sparkle and shine with a very easy method and not a lot of mess actually. The perfect pearls don't make a lot of mess. So that's the card for today, my first card in 2015. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.